By day, people know me as Michael. But by night, people call me Daphne. By definition, a drag queen <laughs> is a man who dresses as a woman <gasps> to entertain others. Oh, baby. But when it comes to describing a queen, a drag queen is sickening. Well, fierce. The choice of words, creative, is limitless. Double jointed. Just like the current number of drag shows and pageants in Ybor City. Hi, my name is Justin. But I also form the illusion of Felicia Fox. Felicia, what first inspired you to do drag? That is a great question, Justin. Um, the very first time I ever did drag was on accident. Um, I was sitting in a bar and I got asked to do a show because I looked like a pretty boy. Four years ago, you'd be hard pressed to find a drag show in Ebor. This year, there'll be more than 800. Absolutely, in multiple venues, there's Bradley's, there's Hamburger Mary's, there's the Honey Pot, there's the Rise, there's Chelsea, Valentine's, there's multiple places. Ladies and gentlemen. Club owners realizing the shows can mean big business. It draws a lot of people from all walks of life because you don't have to be gay to enjoy drag entertainment. Along with the weekly shows have come drag queen pageants. And your question reads, Competitions for Miss Gay US of A, Miss Gay America, Miss Comedy Queen, and others, all migrating to Ebor. Finding establishments like the Honey Pot offering the perfect mix of stage size and dressing room space for the ladies. Hello, my name's Michael. But I'm also known as Corey. Like a traditional beauty pageant, drag competitors are judged in different categories. The scores then total before a winner is announced. Typically, the categories include evening gown, interview, and talent. But the rules for each pageant can vary greatly. Some allow augmentations from the neck down. Some of them, you're not allowed any augmentation except from the neck up. So again, it depends your preference and your style. Winners can earn thousands, the prestige of a title, and of course, a tiara. Hi, I'm Steven. But when I look this fabulous, I'm Catherine. Steven, what started my drag career was actually the theater stage. I pr played a female pig in a children's musical. Well, he's got a big table. Hopefully they make more noise for him than they Tampa do. is quickly becoming a city known for its drag reputation, in large part because of a national pageant brought here last year. The three-day event attracted more than 5,000 spectators and had an economic impact of $600,000. Now, several other national pageants are booking their big events here, too. Yeah, I absolutely see that, um, that, that we can proudly boast in the very near future as being one of the most important communities for drag performance in this country. Meaning, there's one more word you can use when talking about drag shows and Tampa. Booming. In Tampa, Preston Rudy, 10 News.